Warning, the following video will contain content that is not appropriate for children. Your discretion is advised. Well, what the fuck is up everybody? Welcome back for another one of my Pokemon Battle Revolution. Discussion battles. Fuck yeah. Alright, anywho, <laughs> that was hopefully enthusiastic enough for you fuckers. Uh, so yes, I am back to discuss some shit. So, some of you guys might be curious, you know, for those of you who have, you know, watched my content for a while, y'all may be curious. Multi-step, why did you decide to become a more conservative guy? And here's the thing. You know, I actually do like some of the liberal ideas out there. I'm not, you know, a hardline conservative by any stretch of the imagination. Like, for example, when it comes to issues of, and I'm going to be talking about this probably later on too today, when it comes to issues of abortion, or when it comes to issues of, like, gay marriage, you know, shit like that, I lean very, very far to the left when it comes to shit like that. Like, yeah, I believe gays should get married, you know, lesbians should get married, people who identify as whatever the fuck they want to identify as because everything's fucking stupid these days, whatever. Anyone should be able to marry anyone else regardless of whatever the fuck gender they are. You know, I, I really couldn't give a fuck less. You know, I really don't care that much. Same thing with abortion, you know. I totally support abortion. I don't really give a fuck. You know, like, if you want to abort your fucking fetus or whatever, fucking go for it. I don't give a shit. You know, it's none of my business. I'm not a saint. I don't go around, you know, pretending to give a shit about every single random person that happens to exist in the world. Because I don't. Like, I'm sorry if that makes me sound like an asshole, but honestly, I don't care. You know, and I'm not going to pretend to go around giving a shit about every single random person just to try to convince other people that I'm actually a good person. Because I don't care about other people's opinions of me. So. Yeah, bottom line. That's that. Now, some of you guys, though, like I said at the beginning, might be curious as to why I became kind of more conservative. And here's the deal. Why the hell would I be on the side of people who want to condescend to me or demonize me simply because of the fact that I am a straight white male? Look at the 1619 Project. Shit like that. That literally goes out of its way to be racist bullshit. Like they attack people literally just for being white. That's how stupid the left has gotten. In the name of fighting racism, they attack white people. That's why I have always said, and I have believed that I have been right since day one when I've said this. When you push a self-righteous ideology too far... More times than not, you end up becoming the very thing that you sought to destroy in the first place. The left sought to destroy racism and claim to want to end racism. Yet, they are the very people who perpetuate racism by blaming white people for everything. Here's something that people don't want to talk about. The fucking Native Americans. They killed each other. They slaughtered each other. They enslaved each other. Do your research. That shit fucking happened. But no one wants to talk about it. Why? Oh, because all of our societal problems are caused by white people. Because white people are all evil. Okay. Sure. Whatever you fucking say, you fucking historians. Can't be bothered to open a goddamn history textbook. Although a lot of the history textbooks these days are probably filled with liberal brainwashing bullshit. But do your research. People have been enslaving other people since the fucking Stone Age. And guess what? It still happens to this fucking day. Literally, look up the statistics. There are more slaves now in 2022 than there have ever been at any point in recorded human history. That is a fact. Look it up. 
It's disturbing. I agree. I don't agree with slavery. I think slavery is wrong. I don't agree with it. But blaming white people for all the fucking problems in the world is bullshit. And why the hell would I be on the side of people who want to demonize me simply because of the fact that I was born a straight white male and tell me that I have to have some kind of ancestral guilt because white people in the past did some nasty shit. Which, again, I'm not denying. And I'm not saying that it shouldn't be taught in schools. You know, that's not the argument that I'm making. The argument that I'm making is that blaming white people for all of the problems in society does nothing to actually solve those problems. It does nothing. All it does is gin up the voter base so that way people go and vote Democrat. Because they're being brainwashed by the system. The same system that perpetuates the bullshit lie. Y'all act like white people are the worst fucking thing that's ever existed. Um, people of all races have killed each other. Have enslaved each other. Over simple shit like land and resources. Yeah, you all want to say, oh, white people are the cause of all of our problems. White people are evil. White people this. White people are to blame for that. Blah, blah, blah. It's bullshit. And it's racist. And I will call it out for what it is. But that's honestly one of the main reasons why I became a conservative. You know, or became more conservative, I should say. Not necessarily. Because, again, there are some issues that I lean more liberal on. So to say that I'm just a straight-up conservative would be, you know, a bit of a misnomer, I guess. But that's the reason why I am not a liberal. One of the main reasons why I'm not a liberal. Why the hell would I be on the side of people who want to demonize me simply for the fact that I was born as a straight white male? Why the hell would I be on the side of people who want to demonize me for that? Yeah, no thanks. I'll take a pass. I'll stand with the conservative rednecks any fucking day of the week, man. I'll take the conservative rednecks over the fucking liberal pricks any fucking day of the week, man. No fucking question. All right. Well, either way, guys, that will do it for that one. So stay tuned for the next fight. And until then, peace out.